Today's bar is the aptly named Hair of the Dog in Prom Pong. Situated just a short walk from the BTS Prom Pong and between Soy 31 slash 1 and the Villa Market. This is a very unique style of bar. It's a cross between a morgue and an asylum lobotomy room. The mood is dark, relaxed, but very sociable. Let's enter. Our first beer today comes from the Heart of Darkness Brewery in Saigon. This is a relatively new brewery and it's bringing out some very exciting beers. This one is the Excited Magpie, an Irish stout at 4.2%. So let's have a, a quick whiff. Okay, so in the aroma, it's got a lot of roasted toasted malts, a lot of uh, roast coffee. There is definitely some vanilla there and also a little bit of burnt caramel. This is great. So it's a very nice, mild stout. It has a nice little bit of coffee coming through there and the malt as well in the backbone. The nitrous gives it a nice, smooth, rich mouthfeel to it. And it's, it's very, very drinkable. This would make a great breakfast stout. My five words for this bar are Alternative, macabre, dark, knowledgeable, and sociable. So here we have Hair of the Dog's Cheesy Lab Balls. Now, Lab is a spicy Thai flavor, and here we've got minced pork balls wrapped around some mozzarella cheese. And as you can see, it just bursts open. Food porn right there, guys. So let's have a little trim. So you've got that really crisp outside and the soft mint in the inside, which works really well with the spice and the mozzarella cheese. So the lab balls come with a cooling uh, coleslaw. Take a little bit of this. So you've got a nice delicate mixture of uh, the coleslaw itself coming with a mayonnaise and also a, a little tiny hint of sesame oil there. Our second beer today comes from the Mikella Brewery in Denmark. This one is Ramen Yuzu Belgian Ale. You can see it is a beautiful deep amber orange color and has a nice thin white head. The aroma I'm getting here is lots of apricot, peach and orange zest. There's also a bit of uh, burnt sugar here as well. Okay. Wow. So the citrus really bursts out of this beer. There's, you've got a nice mixture of maybe lime zest and orange zest. And also, it really fizzes on the tongue. This is exceptional stuff. Let me have another sip. So, this mysterious small orange fruit really does wonders for this beer. It has a nice marmalade sweet bitterness to the beer. I really like this. This is really refreshing. So here we have some boneless buffalo chicken wings. So you can see it's got a nice spicy sauce on the outside and accompanied with some cool ranch dip. Let's try a little bit of that. The chicken is wonderfully cooked. It has a really nice, mellow spice to it, but also the dip into the ranch is really creamy and refreshing and takes a little bit of that spice away. Really delicious. Upstairs is The Clinic, which is a cocktail bar within a beer bar. If you've had your fill of IPAs or you just need a fix of hard liquor, The Clinic has a tonic for all that ails you. Let's have a look upstairs. Our 
our first cocktail today at the clinic is the Negroni. Now this is a cocktail that is made with Campari, gin and vermouth rosso. So straight away in this cocktail you got lovely garnish of orange peel. The aroma is really powerful, deep orange zesty flavor there. Not really getting much of the gin at all, but it's all in the flavor. Oh, great. Oh, wow. So the gin, the Campari, and the vermouth really work well together. You get that lovely orange, orange liqueur flavor from it. Also, again, this is one of those sweet marmalade orange flavors. So this cocktail will really work well after a few IPAs to really give you something a little bit different. Our next cocktail from the clinic is the classic White Russian, or as I like to call it, the Caucasian, made famous by the movie The Big Lebowski. What a great movie. This is a classic cocktail of vodka, Kahlua, and full fat milk. And I, for one, love it. This one is creamy. You got that hint of coffee. You've got the boozy aroma of the vodka. I really enjoy this. So it's sweet, milky coffee with a little bit of booze. This is a perfect cocktail for all occasions. Cheers. So much in the same style as downstairs, the clinic, however, has more of an apocryphy feel with lab equipment and glass beakers that help create your cocktail. So here we have poutine. Now poutine is a French Canadian classic, okay? It is basically French fries, gravy, and cheese curds. And this one has a topping of jalapeno peppers. Okay, so let's have a go. See the cheese curds, jalapeno there. So you get the crunchy softness of the potato, the spice of the jalapeno, and then the gravy really comes through and it's all topped off with those delicious cheese curds, which are apparently essential to make it 100% genuine. So my next beer is Hair of the Dog's own Bastard Creation, a collaboration between Hair of the Dog and Heart of Darkness Saigon. This is an IPA and he is a bitter bastard. He's 7.7% and it's called liquid lobotomy. And I, for one, cannot wait to get stuck in. So this is a really tempting, beautiful, deep golden orange color here with a nice thick white head. On the nose, I'm getting lots of pine resin, juicy tropical hops and lots of tropical fruit juices. Okay, my favorite bit. Wow, straight away, you're getting that bitter kick of hops. This one really is bitter, 123 IBUs. That is a real big kick. You've got that marmalade, orange flavor, bitter and sweet. This one really is not for the faint-hearted. It's full-bodied, it has a long, lingering, bitter finish. This really is for the IPA lover. So this is our last beer of the afternoon. It's actually from a Swedish brewery called Omnipolo. This one is their Selassie. It's a Imperial Stout at 11%. Let's have a look at it. So you can see, it is black as night. So let's have a quick whiff of the beer. So you're getting a really intense, 
coffee aroma which comes from the, the Ethiopian coffee beans that are used in this brew. Okay, I'm getting lots of vanilla, lots of vanilla and there is also some kind of almost wood charred caramel vanilla like you might find in a whiskey. It smells really luxuriant. Let's give it a taste. Oh, beautiful. So straight away you're getting the, the vanilla which is used in vast amount in this beer. But it's not overpowering. The coffee from Ethiopia really cuts through that vanilla sweetness. But there's also a bit of caramel flavor there also. This is a really delightful beer. So it's very smooth, rich, luxuriant. This is a really good beer for after a very big or beautiful meal. Really recommend it. Hair of the Dog boasts 13 taps, two special taps of American, Asian, and European craft beers for you to dissect. In addition to this, it has an arcade machine with thousands of arcade games, eclectic music, fantastic events, and exclusive beers. With a menu of delicious bar snacks and 13 rotating taps, there's surely something here for you. So the idea behind this bar is to have a raw, edgy feel, but at the same time be a sociable, beer-loving, knowledgeable craft beer bar. They've definitely done that.